Hi, David here, and welcome to another pre-release reveal. Today, I want to talk about working within your door. Um, there's so much talk about Scalar 3 being a door replacement, and that was never the intention. The intention is to have a nice place that you can create music within whilst working either within your door as a standalone. There's so many ways to do it, and I quickly want to touch upon those ways. So here I've got a session open. I pulled in Uncommon Progressions, new in Scalar 3, simple, love these chords. Um, lovely. I've just got a chord follow track, the chords and a chord follow track. Now the default here is that you just basically were to hit start in your door and everything follows along. And no matter where you go, what position you go in here, Scatter 3 just gets updated. So this is kind of like you make the arrangement in Scatter 3, it runs along with your door. Um, we do have loop markers, and what I really like about the loop markers is no matter where you are in your door, it still syncs, but it'll always just play within your loop, which means you don't have to make an arrangement, right? Now, start in a weird position here. And Scatter will just loop. And that's really cool because you're still starting your door from the start position, wherever you are, and these loops will go, and this just means that, forget about Scalar now, I can just go in my door and do my usual stuff. We've now got this amazing preset system. What I really love is the ability to have songs within Scalar as presets, including all your instruments and all your routing. It's really, really cool. In this case, it's Scalar straight out the box. You can see door sync is turned on. Now just note, right clicking on the play button or going into the settings menu is where you can get door sync. Uh, by default, it's on. Now here I've got a tune that I've arranged. You can just play instantly from within Scalar itself and kind of jump around parts. So you can do that usual stuff. And if you were to go back and hit play from the door, it's just syncing, syncing to the actual position as well, isn't it? Which is really cool. So here I've got that standard chord progression. I've made an arrangement somewhat. Now I've got a little bit of a change coming up here at bar nine. Also I want to say when you've got these kind of complex arrangements going on and you're zoomed in somewhere trying to make a little change, um, no matter where you are, if you hit play in your door, Scalar 3 will automatically jump to that position, which is really cool. Thank you so much for all requesting multiple independent MIDI out on channels because we were kind of going for that multiple MIDI output that we had in Scalar 2. So now you can actually select which channel every child track comes out of and you can turn it on and turn it off. Everything is responsive. So it is really supremely flexible in that instance. Also, whilst I'm there, in terms of dragging and dropping, you can drag and drop anything anywhere. Okay, so let's say I want this section here. I can drag all three, and if I drag it across to my door, it'll actually create the three MIDI parts. Of course, I can do whatever I want. I can say, oh, I don't want that. I just want this chord. Fine, just drag this chord. There's your chord. Um, we've also got an awesome export feature, which is really cool. You basically you can bounce the audio of what you hear in any bit depth, in any sample rate, um, and you can bounce the actual loop, or you can bounce the entire arrangement. And that applies for MIDI too. So you can export single tracks, multiple tracks, loops, arrangements. So it's really flexible. I want to talk about using it just like Scalar 2. Forget about all your confusing stuff. It's too much for me. I'm not interested. Thank you. I just want to go back to Scalar 2. Why did you do this to me? Um, we're expecting change and we're expecting hesitancy. That's fine. I think a pass mark for me was always that you can use it just like Scalar 2. So here we've go, um, I've opened up, uh, I've got a Scalar. Um, first thing I've done is I've right clicked and I've said no door sync. So when I play Logic and hit from the start, Scalar just doesn't respond. And what that means is that I can, uh, here I've recorded some trigger, trigger notes, but here I've got, you know, Yeah, I just want to record my own pattern. Here I've got the R&B Explore preset. Um, another thing to note, uh, we've now given you the ability to adjust the internal sounds. Delays, filters, um, and the envelope as well, which is, yeah, it's really cool. You can really 
shape those sounds internally without having to use any external VST. So very much like Scalar. Um, and now I just record my trigger notes because I've got this area bound. And so now if I hit play in the door, there they are. And now I can just loop that section and away I go. Um, so it's just like using Scalar. Don't forget um, if uh, you're, say, even ignoring the Explore page, which is just part of the Create page, you can turn on your performances here. You humanize everything just like Scalar too. Um, now what I've done is I've copied that across, okay? And this is how I can kind of utilize the multiple multi-track um, functionality. And what I've done is I've just, I literally went to the Explore page, copied those chords down, adjusted them. So I'll just solo this channel, shall I? So then what I have is I have just the chords played in that uh, same timing. Um, and the point of that is, is that I could do one of two things. I could say, uh, this is running in door sync, right? And it's in loop mode. So it's just gonna forever follow. Um, what I can do now is I can uh, mute that, sol that chord track. And I've got the chords from the original scalar and this new performance here, which is just playing pluckety internal sound. So I've thrown so much into the mix in the few minutes of this video, but what I'm really trying to demonstrate is it's, it is overwhelming in the amount of ways and how flexible we have made Scalar 3. There'll be a bunch of guided videos, tutorial videos, creative videos for our launch on March the 25th, but we've made it uber flexible. So no matter how you want to use it, you can. I hope this helps. Um, thank you very much for watching. As I've said before, we're really excited to get it into your hands and that's coming soon. Thank you.